What's going on everybody? I'm coming at you with a different video and today I'm here at the Chinese Theater for the Beverly Hills Film Festival. And the reason why I'm here is because I have a friend of mine who has a selection here and I'm coming out to support, okay? And uh, we're gonna meet him. He's got a, a film. Uh, and we're gonna talk about him and his film. And uh, this is somebody that I uh, really respect, okay? I've been in the film business now. Uh, I would say like all together, like in the entertainment business, probably like five years between acting classes and making short films. Uh, but this guy is a guy that I um, really uh, respect. I, I really, uh, uh, and I've had the, the privilege of actually seeing this film already. And it's really good. And the thing is, is there's a lot of people out in this industry that make something and they think that because they made it, it's, it's good. And in actuality, I would say probably 95% of the shit that gets made in Hollywood is shit. And I can contribute to that. I've made stuff where I'm like, ooh, that just wasn't good. But it is what it is. But there are film festivals that have um, credibility, that have merit. And uh, my friend has a, uh, a short film here. And uh, we're gonna meet him, we're gonna talk about that. And uh, yeah, I'm here at the Chinese Theater, okay? So there is like the, the Grauman's Chinese Theater, uh, which is like the, uh, I believe, yeah, they have like a lot of like, you know, world premieres over there, but there's also like a movie theater over here where they have like a lot of different screens. Um, and, they, and they show like movies like uh, that are out. And uh, yeah, this theater has six screens. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna check that out. And uh, yeah, let's meet my friend. All right, guys, so here's my friend. This is uh, Mr. Richard Ike. Yes. Okay. Yes. Actor, writer, and director. So tell us a little bit about this film and um, how, how that is and what, how's everything? Uh, everything's been good. Appreciate you being here, man. Appreciate yeah. you putting me on the channel. I'm a subscriber. All of you should be subscribing. <laughs> Thanks, Burbank man. boys, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a Burbankian now, so I support the cause big time. Thanks, man. Uh, I really appreciate yeah, that, bro. Yeah. yeah. So the film uh, is a, it's a breakup drama, I'm calling it. Uh, it's just a short film, six minutes, 20 seconds. Right. Um, it's about just a young married couple right. who are going to start a long distance relationship. Okay. So we're kind of just seeing them the night before that happens. Okay. And and uh, right. yeah, just things okay. get a little bit um, uh, truthful and honest, and they realize they're not aligned with the, their priorities for their future. So, um, yeah, it was a long process. Uh, this has been about two and a half years in the making from, right. from concept to finish. And, uh, you know, poured every ounce of my energy and being into it. So, uh, no, and it shows, and yeah. it shows, it really has. I mean, I've had the, like I was mentioning earlier, I've had the privilege of seeing it, and it was, it's really well done. Thank About you. your uh, background, um, what like what is your filmmaking background? Can you talk a little bit about like your sure, credentials? Because yeah. like yeah. You, you could definitely see your skill yeah. on this. And thank it's you. Very thank very you. impressive. Like seriously, it's very impressive. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Um, yeah. So I went to the School of Visual Arts in New York City. Um, I got my BFA in cinematography in okay. uh, 2013. Okay. Uh, before that, I started. I mean, I've been filmmaking since I was a little kid. Yeah. Like started okay. uh, doing stop motion animation with my Star Wars action figures very nice. uh, on the big VHS cameras. You know, like the yeah. Homeboys, yeah. and uh, then my brother and I got a little Sony handy cam, started making stuff for like skateboarding videos, skits, nice. uh, dirt bikes, stuff like that. And just always had cameras in my hand, and was you know kind of in and out of being in front of it. Never really considered being an actor until I was uh, in my senior year of college. Right, right. And uh, yeah, just that filmmaking background really helped me like now as an actor, and I'm really happy that I have all that experience because. You know, I can work with my team very closely and, right. and, and communicate a lot. And that's what I tell a lot of my colleagues is that the more well-rounded you are as a, a filmmaker, you just become a better collaborator right. overall. Right. So if there's anyone out there who's, you know, doing it, uh, that's what I, I recommend. You know, just yeah. be a master of everything if you can be. You know, uh, obviously hone in on a skill set that you love and want to do. But try to be open to learning a little bit about all of it because right. it's going to help you be even better at the right. thing that you do. Right. So, um, yeah, man, that's it. And then as an actor, I've been out here training, uh, a lot of training Meisner, which we met right. in a Meisner right. class. Right. Um, 
and uh, yeah, a lot of acting studios, just a lot of up and down. You know, being right. in LA as an actor is, yeah. is tricky, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, it's a, it's an interesting and rewarding journey when when things start happening. And you know, like today, here's my yeah. poster, and Let's take a look at that. Check it out. That's awesome. And there, there he is. And today's May the fourth, so may the force be with you all. Yes, um, Star Wars Day. Yeah, check it out. My movie's gonna be online on YouTube, Foolhardy Love, uh, on my YouTube channel, one of my YouTube channels. And that's the name of the, the film. It's called yeah. Foolhardy Love. Foolhardy Love is the film. And uh, where does the name come from? Where, where, where'd you get the inspiration for the name? So, actually, my actress, Gabriella, okay. she came up with it because we were all brainstorming oh, uh, okay. ideas for like what it could be. Okay. And that's she ended up throwing that word out there. And it was interesting yeah. because okay. um, Very nice. I Googled it because one of the things for me was important was search engine optimization like yeah. does that work what comes up right, when you search right, that right, right, so right. I searched it and uh, interestingly enough nothing came up with that oh, nice. but what did come up was the lyrics to a song of a band that I used to listen to all the time and it's a smaller band like right. not a lot of people know about this band so I was like, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm into it. So like just the synchronicity there that like I had a connection to that band and that she threw it out there and it just kind of aligned. Nice. I was like, that's it. That's the name. So that's uh, dope. Yeah. And now, now when you Google it, that's what comes up. Yeah. Nothing else. And it's so. the only thing. Yeah. There yeah, you yeah. go, man. So you yeah, have yeah. like the authenticity mark. Nobody yeah. else has it. That's freaking great. Yeah. Uh, do you have any other things that's like in the work right now? Uh, right now, you know, I, I do want to take a little uh, R and R rest and recovery yeah. oh uh, yeah yeah, yeah. No, but you know i don't blame you i don't blame you you know how it is like yeah. you, you, you if gotta you've ever made anything if you've ever made a, a like anything a short film feature film you gotta give yourself that break so yeah. i completely yeah, yeah, understand yeah. i want to do the break but at the same time like that's the scary and tricky thing about our industry is that when you have some momentum you kind of want to ride it right right so um yeah I'm, I'm just sort of figuring out what i want to commit to next i have a right. bunch of smaller scripts that i have right uh, so i don't i just don't know what i want to develop fully yet sure. commit to so yeah take your uh, time you obviously you don't want to rush the process yeah, you know yeah. and uh yeah dude that's that's really great man any other plugs that you want to like plug in uh let's see i mean everyone in my film so you know the entire team my wife nicole you know everyone who donated to the film we did a crowdfunding campaign for post-production so everyone who uh you know, gave us their support. Uh, thank you all, and you know, I'm just pumped to have the thing done. And um, my plug, honestly, is for this guy right here, David oh, Coker. Oh, that's really kind. That's really kind uh, of me, man. That's really cool. Bro. Get on this channel, <laughs> and we'll see you in the cigar lounge. Yes, yes, we're gonna do a cigar video. That yeah. is something we got a couple videos in the works yeah. right now. But a couple things I wanted to highlight that I really wanted to add in this video is. Um, uh, you're just a really good role model, I think, for anybody that's like in this industry. Just because you have like that, that really good hard work ethic, um, and obviously you can back up with, with what you make. Because you know you have people that invite you to film festivals, and you just never know like what they're gonna make. And, and oftentimes, like I, I was mentioning earlier, 95% of the stuff that gets made in Hollywood, it's, it's garbage. And, yeah. I, and I can attest that I've made garbage. So have I. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we all have. But this is actually a really good. This is a really good project. Thank and you. Uh, and I mean, just the fact that you get the recognition at this festival just you know it speaks for itself you, and the second thing I want to mention one of the reasons why I really well a couple reasons why I really like this guy I know where you're going yeah so we're, we're into astrology yeah, yeah. yeah we're into astrology he's a Scorpio I'm an Aries I get along great with Scorpio some of my really good friends are Scorpios and on top of that too a nice little addition is he's also a Gemini rising just like me so he's like you know like a, a networker like behind the scenes as well as like all yeah, up in yeah. your face like, I'm, a, I'm a connector I'm a communicator yeah. You know, Gemini, as most people know, big yeah. on communication. Yeah. So, uh, for sure, whether or not, like, and it took me a long time to be able to find that for myself because yeah. I am yeah. a Scorpio. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm very introverted, but yeah. I, I can be extroverted and I like that. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think we connected on that. that yeah. You know, base level before we even knew that that was the case. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And also, too, like, you're also, like, um, the, you, you and your wife have you could tell that you guys have a really good connection and, and that's a, that, that in itself is an example to have like a partner that really yes. supports you Absolutely. in this industry and it's very adamant and you definitely see that and again and that and that adds uh, into like what I was saying earlier about how you're a really good example uh, in terms of like a hard worker and also like just a, just a genuine stand-up guy and I really appreciate getting uh, connected with you um, yeah but uh, also like, I guess like you know send on this um, 
I know this is doing the festival run. Is it eventually going to be available for people to see? Yeah, uh, next week I'm going to put it online. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, awesome, yeah, yeah. awesome. Like what, yeah, yeah. what outlets? Like uh, uh, just on YouTube. So okay, I'll YouTube. Uh, I'll send you the link and then okay. you know, we can uh, we can add just, on the description. Yeah, 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 perfect. So thank you so much, dude. Thank yeah. You. Oh, absolutely, man. Thank you yeah, so much dude. for coming. Yeah, we'll definitely you know collaborate uh, much oh, yeah. more. We're going to yeah, do yeah. more stuff in the future. But yeah, definitely uh, be on the lookout for Full Hearty Love. Written and directed by Richard Ike. Okay, and uh, what is the name of your co-star? It's uh, Gabriela. Gabriela Gonzalez Bijou. Awesome. Yes. Cool. Check her out. All right, guys. All right. Yeah, let's that, do it. That's a wrap, guys. We gotta yeah, get in there. yeah, we gotta get in there. Let's All check right. it out. <laughs> so one of the cool things about this uh, theater is uh, some of the film stuff that they have over here. Okay. So we're gonna uh, take a look at that real quick. So this was a dress that was worn by uh, Grace Kelly, and I, it looks like a movie called To Catch a Thief. Okay. Now we're really gonna geek out here, especially for me. Okay. Now one of my all-time favorite movies is The Ten Commandments. Okay. And these are the actual commandments that were used for the movie starring Charlton Heston, okay? I mean, that, that's just incredible. That's just, I mean, that you cannot put a price on those. You cannot put a price. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Hi, I'm Gabriela Gonzalez Bijou, and I'm... Woo! I'm associate producer and lead actress in Full Hearty Love. Hello, my name is Richard Ike. I am the writer, director, actor, producer, and chief custodian on Full Hearty Love. Uh, thank you to Beverly Hills Film Festival for the opportunity to screen here at this theater and with all these other filmmakers. Thank you to my team. A lot of them are here. Thank you all. And uh, thank you to all of our supporters, our donors. And uh, special thank you to my wife, Nicole, who's always supporting me with all my endeavors. Uh, friends and family that are here, love you guys and love everyone here. Thank you. Okay, so I uh, just got out of the theater. And uh, yeah, Richard's film was uh, in a block with uh, other short films. And uh, as I've mentioned before, I've seen this, uh, this film, and this was the first time that I got to see this film on the big screen. And I'm going to tell you, what a difference sound uh, and like a, a big screen makes in viewing a movie. I was just so impressed. I, I mean, I, again, I've seen it before. I knew it was good, but man, just to see it on the big screen like that. And here's another thing too. The other films that were in this block with Richard's film were, were very good. And it's a testament to um, the festival itself. And uh, it was really good. I, uh, I'm gonna have to uh, like look up these films again. But there was one film. I think it was Lacuna that really uh, stuck out to me. It was uh, there was like a a, ma a mannequin scene with a, a woman, and I thought that was really cool. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go find Richard and uh, see if I can uh, get any other extra bits, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna head on out. So as you can see, uh, these are some of the other films that were selections at the festival here. And here's a nice little overview of the theater. All right, so I'm here with Gabby, who is uh, Richard's co-star. Uh, I thought you did a really wonderful job. Uh, it was just really awesome to see the film uh, on the screen with the quality of sound. I mean, I, I knew the film was good, but just to hear it and see it a second time was like, oh wow, it really made me, uh, it, it took me in. I thought you did a really wonderful job. How did you prep for this? How did you, how do you know Richard? How, how did you know about Richard? I met Richard at uh, La Lista, it's a film mixer for Latinos in film. Okay, so, okay, I didn't know that. That's yeah, awesome. we met two years ago, and we both have an affinity for Meisner, and okay. um, yeah, we just we had a great conversation, and he mentioned that he was writing a short film okay. um, that he wanted to do for $2,500, I think it was the budget at the time. It grew, but it was... Oh um, yeah, it happens. And I... Um, 
I had finally become a full-time working actor. Um, but there's something about this project that just it really hit me from the start. And even before I knew what it was about, um, I liked Rich. He's a cool guy. I'm like, okay, let yeah. me see what this is about. I would definitely go to the middle of North Hollywood, <laughs> which is right. for, for the actual audition, which I did right. with um, David Nichols Jr. Okay. He was there. And, uh, I read with him for the part, and I cried, yeah. and I knew that I really wanted to be a part of this, and I still didn't expect it. I said, even at that point, I was like, if this is if this is it, I'm just I'm so grateful to have auditioned. Right. Um, but yeah, they ended up calling me back in, and they wanted me for the part, and awesome. I'm so glad that I got it, and then over in preparation for it. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with, with romantic leads, to be okay. told, so okay. I did some scenes in class <laughs> to work on that, and um, after that, I mean, really, it, it goes back to relationships, and right. just being present right. for the work, and for whatever arises, and be honest with it, and, right. and let that be. Right. Um, yeah. I, I, I have to say, I respect you. I, have to, I respect you a lot for taking classes because, believe it or not, you'd be surprised how many actors in LA don't take class. So the fact that you took this to class really shows your level of preparation. And I, I think that just puts you in a, in a different bracket of a professional. Like, even though, it, even just hearing you speak, you could tell that you're professional. I mean, just aside from seeing how you work on screen, and I just, again, I just thought you did a really great job, and I really look forward to seeing what else you do. So, Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Be able to look at it. How can people follow you? How can people find you? You can find me at Gatsby, G A B S B Y, okay. on Instagram. All right. <laughs> I got a frog in my throat. It's okay. And then uh, you're a hard you can, worker. My, I have a, a website out there. You can find out all my other contacts. Um, it's a wonderful thing. Absolutely. As far as, yeah, I mean, as far as the work goes, all I want to say in addition to that is that I never feel like I'm good enough. Yeah. And I don't take that as in woe is me. I yeah. use that as fuel for what's coming next because right. there's always room for improvement and I always want to be growing and continuing to develop. Definitely. Well, I'll, I'll put your stuff in the description. Thanks again, Gabby. Always a pleasure okay. and uh, definitely we'll, we'll see you around. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, uh, that's a wrap. Uh, pun intended. Richard, bro, thank you so much, man. I I had a blast, man. I uh, I definitely got more than I bargained for. I had a wonderful time. Um, got to interview Gabby. Um, any any last words? Anything else you want to plug? Well, uh, not really. I'm still kind of you know processing, and and that that whole experience was um, was really fun. It was, it's it's great to have an audience that is responsive and, and right. like really looking for the details. So right. um, uh, overall, I thought it was a, it was a great time. I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy. Uh, thank you again. Well, of course, and, and something else too. Like I mean, uh, just to see your film in the bracket with the other films because the other films were good too. To see your film with those other films, it's like it speaks a testament of your film and the festival itself. Man. Yeah. I mean, I was really impressed. But uh, but yeah. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to like this video. Subscribe uh, if you're new to the channel. Be sure to follow Richard. I'm going to put his information in the description. Um, feel free to share. And uh, as always, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, baby. <laughs>